a popular new Democratic president, big Democratic majorities in Congress. You would think these would be tough times for conservatives, but not so, says our Power Player of the Week. We're not just a bunch of uh, eggheads sitting around uh, smoking pipes and, and, and thinking deep thoughts. We're actually trying to change the way Washington operates. Ed Fulner is president of the Heritage Foundation, known as the beast of conservative think tanks. From its base on Capitol Hill, Heritage looks for new ways to advance its principles. Those basic principles are free enterprise, limited government, strong defense, and traditional American values. And we try to promote those principles through the ideas on Capitol Hill. One of its biggest issues now, missile defense, the subject of a new documentary. And right now, we are not protected. It's more than 25 years ago that Ronald Reagan first announced this, and we still don't have a fully deployed system. So we keep pushing and shoving the Washington establishment on it. With a staff of 250 and a budget of $60 million, Heritage does plenty of pushing and shoving. Conservative stars who have worked there include Jack Kemp and Bill Bennett, Ed Meese and Bush Labor Secretary Elaine Chao. Fulner believes you've not only got to come up with new ideas, you have to sell a strategy to make them law. The notion that coming out with a nice 200 or 300 page book that you send 500 copies around every member of the House and Senate and it just sits on their bookshelf, boy, why bother? Ed Fulner helped found Heritage and took over as president in 1977. What was it about the conservative point of view that attracted you as a young man? It lets the individual flourish. It's equality of opportunity. It's not equality of results. And that really appealed to me. Is it true that you carry a copy of the Constitution with you? I've got it right here. There you go. The basics are all there. Our founding fathers had it two centuries plus ago. But Heritage really came into its own when it published this set of policy recommendations as Ronald Reagan became president. At his very first cabinet meeting, he put a copy of Mandate for Leadership on the desk of every one of his cabinet members. Uh, it wasn't just a, a list of desirable basic principles. It was, how do you get from here to there? During the Reagan years, Heritage offered practical advice on tax cuts, less regulation, and yes, missile defense. Now, Fulner faces a Democratic Congress and President Obama. His policies scare me. They really do, because what they're doing is they're centralizing more and more power here in Washington. And that isn't the way America grew. But Heritage keeps churning out ideas and keeps water. pushing them on Capitol Hill, confident its time will come again. If we can get more and more Americans thinking the way we do in terms of these basic conservative principles as alternatives to what's being put forth by the administration, it's a very, very exciting time, and we're going to be winning. Fulner travels 150,000 miles a year selling his ideas, and he says membership and heritage is now growing by 1,000 people a week.